When we talk about robots, we might envision something like WALL-E, like a hunk of metal moving around. Think about one of these robotic arms at a factory picking up heavy loads to assemble a car. But now we've kind of come uh, to this subfield uh, called soft robotics, where now we're thinking about, well, can robots be made out of different things? My name is Elizabeth Gallardo Hevia. I am Cuban American Canadian, and I've been doing soft robotics during my time here at Harvard, specifically now doing uh, soft controllers. Uh, so within the robot, you need things that move, you need things that um, sense and you need things that tell the robot how to move and that's kind of what the controller does. I love telling people that I'm making kind of the circuits that they find in their phone but I'm making them out of soft things like rubbers, or channels, and it's operated with uh, fluids instead of electricity. Um, and I like people being like, wait, how do you do that? Like, because we're all used to thinking of things in one way but in reality there's other ways so the soft controllers that I'm making um, are made up of these soft circuits. And these circuits are made up of channels. And if you pattern these channels in a specific way, you can actually start doing kind of smarter behaviors. And these behaviors um, start to resemble um, kind of low level logic that is the basis of even the logic on circuits on our phone or our computers. And one soft circuit by itself could act as a controller. For example, if you just want your robot to um, have a robot arm that inflates, deflates, you can use the oscillator circuit, which does this, this one um, action. So the way that we build these circuits is we create some molds. And those molds we've 3D printed with a 3D printer that has pretty high resolution because we want to keep things small. So we dry it on our computer, we send it to print, um, and then we mix up the material that we want. Uh, we pour it into these molds. We put them in the oven so that they bake. We remove the molds uh, from the oven. We uh, remove the cured rubber silicone circuits from the molds and then to uh, kind of glue them together we do some plasma bonding. The objective of this research is to uh, replace rigid traditional controllers with soft ones. Having rigid components in, an, in a device that, that's supposed to be compliant, if you have rigid pieces in there, um, you might not be able to get a nice custom fit or you might not be able to get uh, the robot that's supposed to wiggle through tight spaces to wiggle through, you start uh, limiting what your robot can do. So I'm convinced that soft robotics has uh, opened up a lot of doors for a lot of cool applications. And I think that uh, in terms of uh, medicine, rehab, sports, I can see a future for all of the of soft robotics for all of these. Um, I hope that we get to the point where the technology that we're developing in the lab actually become adopted and actually um, become mature enough to be used in these applications because I think uh, it makes sense and I think there's a natural path.